Hello everybody, I am Elham from Skin Chakra, the place to purchase excellent quality cosmetic raw material and to learn how to formulate like a cosmetic chemist. And today Svetlana and I are going to show you how to make this beautiful cold process water in oil emulsion with our newly arrived paprika oil that imparts such a lovely color to the emulsion. It has a very luxurious skin feel, no greasiness or stickiness, very light feel despite the fact that it is a water in oil emulsion and since it is a cold process you can uh, apply all of your precious uh, oils and extracts that are heat sensitive. The procedure is very easy. We kept the formulation kiss as always, but you can add all of the ingredients that you want to the formulation. As always, the uh, complete formulation and procedure are available on our blog. I hope you will like this formulation as much as we like it and you will enjoy making and using it. This is a cold process emulsifier and this means that we blend the oil and water phases separately and then very slowly and gradually add the water phase into the oil phase. So the oil phase consists of the emulsifier obviously which is Neo-KP3R, cedar nut oil and paprika oil, both of them have a high iodine value and we do not use them in a hot process. But since this is a cold process, we can easily use both of them. Tocopherol, natural vitamin E as the antioxidant and mandarin essential oil that goes to the oil phase from the beginning since we are not going to heat the oil phase. Look at the beautiful color of the oil face. You can manage small batches with a spatula, but since we have the luxury of this overhead steerer, we use it and it makes the job much easier and improves the texture and the stability of the product. This is an overhead steerer with propeller blend. And now we will blend the ingredients of the water phase, which consists of a hydrosol because we are not going to heat it. Sodium PCA, which is a humectant and moisturizer. Panthenol for its moisturizing, wound healing, skin soothing properties. Then we are adding magnesium chloride, which is the electrolyte, the salt that it stabilizes the water in oil emulsion. If you don't have it, you can use magnesium sulfate or even a pure a sodium chloride without any additives. Here again, you can use only a spatula, but working with a magnetic steerer or another overhead steerer makes the job quite easy. Since we are using a preservative system that reduces the pH, we are using 
are dreaming to increase the pH of the water phase right now. And then we add our prebiotic powder to make this product microbiome friendly. For the water in oil emulsions, we need to measure and adjust the pH of the water phase before we blend the two phases and before we create the emulsion. So at this stage, Svetlana blends all of the ingredients of the water phase and then we will prepare a 10% dilution and measure the pH. We deliberately increase the pH because we know that our preservative system reduces the pH. And this is something we can, you can only figure out by making several batches and experimenting. There is no mathematic formulation for that. So when the water phase is completely blended and smooth, we can move on to making the dilution and measuring the pH. Prepare a 10% dilution of the water phase in distilled or deionized water and then measure the pH. We have already calibrated the electrode and the pH is shockingly high, is 840. But all of our ingredients can tolerate this and we know that when we add the preservative system, the pH comes to around 540, 530. So that's quite okay. Don't panic. And we can now move on to blending the oil and the water phase. The oil phase is completely uniform now. The water phase is finished and the pH is adjusted. And now the magic starts and Svetlana adds the water phase gradually and slowly to the oil phase. This is crucial for the stability of the emulsion and for avoiding a phase inversion. We will leave Svetlana to blending the two phases and we'll come back again when she is almost halfway through blending the two phases. Svetlana is almost halfway through adding the water phase to the oil phase. The product looks like an emulsion now, but we have still about 30, 40 milliliters to go. So we leave Svetlana, try her patience, and we will come back when the addition is almost done. When the water phase is completely added to the oil phase, we will give the preservative. We could have added the preservative. <laughs> no! We could have added the preservative from the beginning to the oil phase since we are not heating the oil or the water phase. But this way it will work as well. You can do it as, as it's convenient for you. Now we let Svetlana blending the two faces completely, add the preservative, and then we'll come back and show you the finished product. Water and oil phases are blended completely. Now Svetlana is adding the preservative. The emulsion is practically finished, but we let it stir for about half an hour because when you are cold processing, you have to compensate for the lack of heat energy with the mechanical energy. 
we'll come back and show you the finished emulsion so the emulsion is finished now and let's see what is there This is a low viscosity sprayable emulsion. Actually quite suitable for summertime. And look at the beautiful texture and the color. We'll take our stability samples and fill this in a spray bottle and we'll show you the finished product when we are finished.